ODOT's budget for winter maintenance is back on track after a big detour in funds threatened to pull back normal maintenance. We expect that our roads are going to be safer now than they would have been before without this money. Earlier this year, ODOT said budget cuts would force them to cut back on their winter services, such as plowing popular roads around central Oregon. After legislators pushed Governor Kotek to take action last week, she followed through. Her office announcing Monday, $19 million toward keeping Oregon drivers safe on the roads. So we're going to be able to start making changes immediately. And one of the biggest things that's an easy immediate change we can make is allowing the authorization of more overtime for our staff. Meaning ODOT can have more plows on the road more often. That especially goes into effect during big storms because crews in the past work a lot of overtime hours to keep those routes plowed during the wintertime. In addition to de-icing on overtime, some of the money will go toward new trucks, retracing edge lines, and fixing potholes. ODOT is doing this work now on the promise of these funds in the future. The agency will have to pay for the work now, with the state committing to back funding them next legislative session. ODOT says they remain facing a long-term budget deficit and will continue searching for additional funding. We will be working closely with the governor and the legislature towards building uh, sustainable funding for years to come in the next 2025 legislative session. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from Central Oregon Daily News. And for more news from the high desert, just visit centraloregondaily.com.